Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Professional Fishing. And today, guys, we got some big stuff to catch, some trouble we're going to get into. Because as you guys remember last episode, I bought bigger hooks. And I said we are going to equip them and we're going to get ourselves in trouble. I also want to buy a new reel and line. Because if you can see, our rod is at 2 kg strength. Our reel is at 1.3 kg strength. Our line is 1.3 kg. So we cannot buy a new rod, it's all locked, but a reel we can buy which is 2.9 kg, which is bigger than our rod. But you know what? It's okay. I don't care. Let's go ahead, buy that. Item is in your storage. Let's go ahead. Equip. But it won't let me equip. Why? Uh, line. We're gonna go ahead and buy a heavier line, one point eight kg line. Okay, we're gonna put. There we go. So we have that equipped. And uh, can I can I store this? No, I can only store this, hey? Okay, so we have our 1.8 kg mono line. Um, our reel. I don't know why this isn't working. We're supposed to have a better reel. Maybe once we get in game, we can go ahead. Oh wow, look at that. Three rooms filled with people. Once we get in-game, that's when we can uh, choose what reel and tackle and equipment we want to uh, equip. So let's go ahead and do that. While we wait, guys, please like the video. Please subscribe if you are new to this channel. I have some amazing content that comes up out every week about fishing and indie games. And please comment at the end of the video what you like, what you don't like, any suggestions, any ideas. I'm all ears and eyes for that. Let's go ahead, uh, choose our reel here, 1.3 kga, that sucks, our line here, 1.8 kg line, I'm not happy with this, uh, the reel it's not letting me upgrade. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Oh, look at that. I've never seen that screen before. Let's see, let's see. Sorry, I, I need to fix this. Uh, oh, you know what? That's a universal reel. For a second, I'm like, maybe it's for spin fishing. It's in our storage. Delete. R. Do I need to buy more storage? Or what? Okay, well, this game is absolute trash, because what the hell is this? Um, so let's go ahead, let's just deal with a bigger line and a smaller rod. If I break it, I break it, I really don't care. Uh, we have to equip a bigger hook, so let's not forget to do that. Real, we only have one line, we have our 1.8 equipped hook we are gonna go with our number eight there we go uh bait we have hello bait we have our worm there we go all righty let's get started is it it is a beautiful summer day here i like the greenery it's just why did it have to be so dark in this place uh, we can come over here. Where is everyone? Oh, yeah, there's only like six people here. So we're gonna stand beside some people because, you know, what's the point of playing an online-only game when, uh, can't see anyone. Okay, on the left, bottom left of the screen, I saw a minus one 
on my uh, on my line. I don't know what that meant. Is it my durability went down by a bit or what? I don't know. And I have a mosquito bite on my arm, I think. Man, it's so annoying. I was in my backyard picking out cucumbers and tomatoes that we have growing that are ripe. We have a lot of tomatoes ready to come out. We also have bringle or brinjal. I don't know what it's called in English. It's a purple eggplant. Yes, eggplant. There we go. That's that's going to be ready in a few days. Uh, I have, ooh, I have very nice fat corn growing as well. That's going to be ready soon, I guess. So lots of stuff happening in the backyard. Guys, I'm thinking about doing subscriptions on the channel there'll be two tiers the first tier which i'm thinking is two dollars a month uh you will have new emotes and a special icon beside your name i'll show everyone that you are you know you're a devoted member and you will have early access to video releases tier two which i'm thinking of being four dollars a month will have all of the benefits i've already told you right now Plus, you will have exclusive video uploads that won't be available anywhere else, but only to tier 2 members. And I was thinking of you know, making videos of my backyard showing you my, what plants I have, you know, what fruits and veggies I grow. Um, if you guys remember, I went boating and fishing and that trip sucked. But I was thinking maybe compiling that trip, making a video out of it and releasing that as well. So I'm thinking of all of this. I really want input because if only one person is going to be a member, then it's not worth it because I have to put a lot of extra effort, time, energy for that, right? So I need at least a few members on tier two. Tier one is fine, but tier two is where I, you know, upload exclusive videos and stuff. That will take time. Uh, so if you are listening, let me know what you think. Um, I was going to do this membership thing last weekend, actually. Oh, you're going to get a bite. Last weekend, and then all of a sudden I stopped. Damn it, line broke. I shouldn't have right-clicked. That was my mistake. How much line do we have left? I don't know. I don't know how much slime we have left. Okay, let's leave our friction to 50% and let's not right click. Because that breaks the line, which I don't understand if our resistance is at 50%. Jerking the rod or whatever shouldn't break it, you know? It's weird. So let's not do that. Uh, so last weekend, I was going thinking of activating this tier 1 and 2 memberships for the channel. But then I need, I need to see, I need to look at your opinions. I need to look at, you know, during streams, if are people even, you know, using the super chat, are people willing to spend some money? And if no one is, then there's no point having a membership, even though I have, I'm uh, my channel, it has been approved for it. So um, I'm thinking maybe on the main, you know, uh, the discussion wall uh, on the channel, I might write all of this down, you know, provide better description and see what people say. And based on that, we can move forward. But man, we waited a while to get a big fish and I screwed it up. So I am going to stop talking and I'm going to wait. And once we get the fish, once I hook to it, then I will, uh, I'll start talking, I guess. What the heck are these people typing? 7, 7.78. Then we have whatever language that is, Mandarin or whatnot. Then we have question marks. Yes, a universal, universal uh, letters there. And then we have more of the other. Alrighty, give me one big fish for this episode and I will be happy. And I don't want to use bread. I want to use this weird looking worm corn because it gets you big fish.
Is fish jumping around? I gotta look at my float on the right side. Cause in the it's so dark in the center of the screen you can see the float. Uh, but if I take my eyes away and come back, like I cannot find the float again. I need like I keep looking at the right side of my screen where the icon is. Oh, that fish will come when it comes. I don't know why at the bottom left there is a control F5 to open bug report window. This game isn't in beta. It shouldn't have that. <laughs> um but it's whatevs. We'll wait till the sun goes down. For a second I thought we were gonna get a bite. Come on, come on. Come on, fishy. Ugh. Man, I screwed up that chance. I don't want to cast anywhere else because maybe... Whatever time I've waited, I'll have to wait again. So, it is a size 8 hook which is pretty darn small. So, this shouldn't be rocket science. It's not like we're only gonna, you know, we're gonna exclude 90% of the fish in this lake because the hook size is so big. It shouldn't be like that. Um, maybe it's just the spot. I don't know. So I'm thinking maybe we should just move anyway then. Alright, let's go to the bridge. At least he can run. Hello frog, you're perpetually stuck here. Poor froggy. Alright. Ooh, look at that. On the right, we just saw like a gevel carp or something. Jump. So I wonder if this fish can spool us. Oh, are we already getting a bite? Oh my god, yes, we are getting a bite. Don't press right click, don't press right click. Okay. 70% friction is fine. I'm gonna make it 80%, don't raise the rod. I'm gonna do 70% friction here. 80%. Where is this fish? Oh man, it is running. Where is this fish going? Oh, it's going. It's going under the bridge. I wonder if we can unhook the fish if there's too much slack on the line. Hey, I gotta be with- Oh man, our line maxes out at times. Oh, we already got the fish. Nice. Oh, I almost- I almost snapped the line again. Where is this fish? Come on. Oh, there it is. There it is. No! Why does he keep doing this? Oh, there we go. Finally. Oh, wow. Look at that. 5.84 kg carp. Can I change the view here? Damn, I can't. Wow, how did we catch this guy so quick? And our character looks fugly. Um, 5.84 kg and how... Why do we have an option to sell all of a sudden? <gasps> oh, I didn't even have my fish net outside. Oh no. I completely forgot. 111. Oh my god, that is amazing. We're halfway through level 2 now. Oh wow. Uh, let's put our fish net out because I completely forgot. I'm so happy they gave me an option to sell or else I would have been pretty mad. All I would be doing is running around holding the fish like first episode. Okay, this spot's good. This spot's good. Let's see what else we can get in trouble with. Um, 
you know what? Even though our line is 1.8 kg, it is stronger than our rod, is it not? Or our reel? Yeah, it's stronger than our reel, and yet... Oh, I pulled too early, yeah. And still, it's like the tension on the line was a lot more than the rod. I guess line also means reel. Bass. Man, I want to catch different fish. Maybe we can get catfish on this. 21.6 degrees Celsius. There we go. 21.6 degrees Celsius. That's an amazingly good weather. Very comfortable. Let's do 80% here. I don't think shift helps reel any faster. Okay, let's not... Oh, crap. There we go. 2kg cruising. Wow. So that hook with the worm did make a difference. Let's net this bad boy. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm liking this. Uh, the friction is stupid. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense. If my brake isn't locked, I shouldn't be able to snap my line. Oh. Did that? No, I, I struck too early. Okay, let's go. That tree looks absolutely disgusting back there. It's just outside of, like, the rendering distance or something, I guess. Okay, small fish. I'm raising the rod, as you can see, because it's right here. Where are you? Oh, it's a tiny little roach. Wow, 1.32 kg bream. Okay. Man, I, I'm liking this. The guy's hook. Hook, I guess, makes a big difference. And that worm. It's like a magical worm. <laughs> so these two combined are doing absolutely stellar here. We're getting some nice-sized fish. Um, unfortunately... Unfortunately... Fortunately, we couldn't equip the reel, which doesn't make any sense to me. There we go. Another maybe bream here. This is going to be it for us. Okay. Go ahead, catch this fish. Another bream. Ooh, no, it's a cruisin. 1.57 kg. Okay, let's pick up that net here. Let's go back home. I like these rendering screens here. Let's go to fish market. Um, I don't know individually. Okay, individually we can sell it like this. That's pretty cool. We are no longer under 1 kg mark anymore with the fish. So we are making a decent money. Let's sell all for 53. That... What did we just catch? Our biggest fish? Grass carp, 6 kg common carp almost. That was insane. 111 uh, gold or coins or silver or whatever the hell the currency is in this game. Uh, that was pretty darn cool. Uh, I'm just devastated about this. What is this? 1.6 kg real. Man, I already bought point. 2.9 kg reel. Equip. We don't have a second slot for some reason, and I, we, I cannot get rid of this for some reason. Like, why can't I not sell this? Enter. Base. No, it doesn't do it. So... What else can we buy? We already have the net. We have this vest here. Rankings, don't care. Wiki, pretty cool. Tournament clubs are boring. Um, 
what level are we we're going to be level three almost so guys i really hope you enjoyed this quick and short episode and i hope to see you in the next one please let me know in the comments what you think about what i discussed and we can move forward with that thank you so much for tuning in bye guys